Good morning, everyone. You know, I rolled out of bed with some jeans that are just a tad bit too tight, my cowboy boots on. And you know what? I feel like some barbecue today. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go. One thing you may not know about me, I'm a meat eater. My diet typically consists of about 75% protein, 20% carbs, and then whatever left in cheese and milk. But I'm telling you what, I can smell good barbecue anywhere. So that's what I'm on the search for this morning. We're headed to Diana, Texas, to the mmm barbecue food truck. I don't know how many M's that is, but we're about to find out. Nope, I still don't smell it yet. Let's keep going. I think we found it, y'all. We're here in Diana, Texas at the 5M Barbecue Food Truck. You know what, you might as well call me a caveman with how much I love anything cooked over an open flame. Let's check it out. All right, David Shelton. Crystal Morgan. Nice to meet you, Crystal. Nice to meet All you right. too. So we're here at your food truck, yes, barbecue food truck. Yes, sir. So I got to understand the name just a little bit before we get started. Is it Mmm Barbecue or is it 5M Barbecue? It's 5M. So how did you come up with that name? Um, well, it's my husband and I and then our three kids. So it's 5M. I just thought there, there was like the 17M <laughs> Barbecue truck where it's just Mmm. <laughs> What is your best mm impression? Like how many M's does this food truck need to convey the message of how good the, the barbecue really is? Mm. Right there. That's right. how good. They are in Diana, Texas. And so they invited me to come out, try their barbecue, see what they got going on here. So would you mind showing me the truck? Sure. Okay, come let's in. go. So this is where all the magic happens. Yes, sir. In this little truck with the wonderful AC. <laughs> yes, sir. I heard you say something just a minute ago about how your barbecue is, quite frankly, the best in Texas. <laughs> you even said east of Los Angeles, so that leaves a large range there. You said something about proprietary blends of your rubs and your sauces. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, my husband and our son were in the kitchen kind of messing around when we decided that we thought we were going to open a food truck. We tested out all kinds of recipes and finally found one that we were in love with and we've been making that one since and then he came up with his own rub recipe and then we make our own salsa verde for our brisket tacos. That sounds awesome. Well, I don't know if you're aware and I kind of keep this very secret, but I was on a little Food Network competition series. It was called Worst Cooks in America. We won't talk anymore about that <laughs> though. What I did learn from that show is I learned flavors and how to cook. Uh -huh. And I learned from Bobby Flay himself, which is, if you know, he's, he's so cool. he is so cool. And he's a Southwest cooking king. That's his type of flavor and food. So can you show me a little bit about what your spices are without revealing too much? Where my husband mixes everything up. And so you can see there's a little bit of salt. Now, can I, can I taste it? Yep. Okay, this is completely sanitary, y'all. Do not <laughs> worry, okay? I am, my hands are spotless. Mmm, mmm. Now I know one of the spices. Can I, can I say what it is? Uh -huh. Cumin. Mm -hmm. Do you bring more of a uh, Spanish, Hispanic flavor to your brisket or no? It's no. more that all American. No, it's that all American barbecue. So what is that used on? Um, it's used on all of our meat. So here's the big question. <laughs> Everybody wants to know, do you do anything with bacon? <laughs> because her barbecue was so good. That's why. She don't need bacon. Because bacon is just literally, it's pork crack. I mean, let's be honest. That You, you can put bacon on anything. I, in fact, had it on my cinnamon toast crunch this morning. I just, no, I'm kidding. I didn't. <laughs> this is the holy grail. And when I see bark, Crystal, you do not understand. The, the glands on the side of my mouth start salivating, and I'm like a puppy. I'm, so what you got here? I've got some chopped beef. I've got pulled pork, and I've got our smoked turkey that everybody loves. So this is a turkey? Yes. Because I was really thinking this was a big, huge, Texas-sized <laughs> roll that was rising with yeast. So let's Let's try it out. I cannot wait right. to try some of this. So how long do you smoke your meats? Um, roughly 15 to 18 hours is what we do. Oh, you got to look at this. 
That is that is the part that makes barbecue, in my honest opinion, is the bark. Do you have people come in requesting just the bark from no. the meat? Oh, I don't I'm, have I'm the only. I'm the only weird. You, you know what? Person. I am the authentic Texan, fourth or fifth generation. Oh, oh, here we go. That's a huge piece. Mm. Mm. That is where the foundation of good meat starts. Is the rub? Is the way that you smoke it? Can you tell us? What do you smoke it with? We use pecan and That's oak. my girl. Oak. Pecan and oak. Guys, I can't tell you. I don't know if this is more a southern thing. But if you can get pecan wood, that is going to be your best bet for getting top-notch barbecue. Here we go. Mm. So I've got you some smoked turkey okay. and some pulled pork to try. Nice. And is this the sauce? Yes. Okay, so I typically just pour that on there. Is that what I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I love that it doesn't taste overly vinegar-like. Right. Are you like that too? Yes. I don't want it. I don't want to be pickled from the inside out, having so much dang vinegar. Yeah. This is your smoked turkey. Yes. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That's superb. It's like your own little barbecue wallet. You just work some barbecue in there, you put it in your pocket, you go about your day, when you need one, you pull it out. I could literally eat brisket and meat all the time for every meal. I seriously am that type of person. But the sauce, the sauce, I could literally swim in this stuff. I think we can make that happen. Let's go check it out. So great! I can taste it through the goggles. <laughs> it's so great. This is like a man's dream come true. Oh, what you got? I brought you some of our ribs. <laughs> Falling off oh. the bones. All I need is some sunglasses, a cowboy hat, and some tunes, and I'm going to be set for life. And then, you know what's nifty is I can just literally just eat it. But it's so good. Guys, you gotta check this place out. Crystal, tell us how we can find you. You can find us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is 5M Barbecue. We're located in Diana, Texas at 1734 US Highway 259 South. Then our phone number is right over here, 903-353-8691. Uh, and we also are serving shaved ice snow cones on top of our barbecue. Guys, you got to come check it out, okay? I'm just going to chill here for a little bit longer. You know, maybe get a little barbecue tan. And uh, we'll see you soon on the Reality Show. Go like their page. If you're interested in doing something like this, please contact me at The Reality Show Why on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. You name it, I'm on it. Peace out, y'all. Said, if you guys did not know about me, I'm a meat eater. I love me, and I'm rolling down the hill. Bye-bye now, see you later. As I've said before, I'm a meat eater, and I can't even see because of that stupid damn sign. <laughs> All right, so scoot up. What's on about me? I'm a meat eater, and I can always smell the best barbecue pork products in the world. Does it look like my eyes are open? This is fantastic, for real. Thank you. Why? <laughs> I don't even have to lie or exaggerate. It's <laughs> it's that dang good. Look at that, y'all. Look at that goodness. Make you want to slap your mama. But my mama would slap back, so we ain't trying that, okay? Ooh. It's really good. It doesn't taste like ketchup at all. Shh. I already did get it in my eye, dang it.
Our address is 1734 U.S. Highway 259 North, South, South here in Diana, Texas. And um, do that, do that address again. <laughs> We're here in <laughs> Other than to eat the meat off my leg that just fell. Come on, Troy. Come on over. Come on. Come on. For the show, <laughs> get your little piece of meat. There you go, buddy. It's that good, y'all. Now you do know that was under my right butt cheek, don't you? I didn't see bubbles. There you go. No bubbles, not yet at least. They thought I had underwear on. It's gonna gotten a little bit hairy. No pun intended. Come on out. We didn't really think this whole outfit thing through, did we? Yeah. All right, let's do it. 